let's have a closer look at Toyota's GR010 which was officially presented today. There are some interesting features of this car that we can now see after detailed pictures and videos were published. The first thing to note is the front of the car. Toyota decided to have a full front wing setup with a flap. The new regulations allow either front or rear wing to be adjustable. Because the front wing has too high risk of clogging up with tire pickup or other dirt during long races, they decided to make the rear wing adjustable to balance the car. The front of the monocoque is relatively big to house the electric motor. The forward part of the chassis sits quite high and to still maintain a low roll center, the pickup point for the lower wishbone sits exposed underneath the chassis. Like described in my previous video, where we looked at the first spy shots of the car, the side pod is positioned a bit further back compared to the road car and features a pretty big air intake. The new regulations only allow one bodywork which has to work for all races of the year, so any specific bodyworks for higher or lower ambient temperatures are not allowed anymore. If we follow the path around the car further, we can see the coke bottle shape that pulls the air towards the center and flows along the inner side of the rear wheels. In the video we can even see the sun shining through. This also explains the large opening at the back. This design helps to fill the wake behind the car and to drive the diffuser harder as the air flows on the top surface of the diffuser. At the side we can also see the specific underbody shape that tries to seal the wheel wheels and reduces disturbances for the diffuser. The diffuser, by the way, is a lot bigger than the one on the TS050. One interesting feature are the fences either side of the roof scoop. Because the scoop is a lot further back on this car, there is a high risk that air is just flowing past the scoop while turning. And to avoid that, these fences increase the pressure in front of the scoop. After seeing these more detailed pictures and looking at the previous TS050 engine, I think that the roof scoop is the engine air intake and the charge air coolers are in the side pods. So the question is, what are these side intakes at the wheel arches for? My guess is the rear brake cooling and also the road car has them. They're quite big, but keeping in mind that the new regulations don't allow an MGUK at the back anymore, the rear brakes need to be stronger and bigger, so the size would make sense. It would be great to see more pictures without bodywork to see even more features of this impressive race car. And a big thank you to Toyota for providing us with slow motion shots in the wet so we can watch the aerodynamics at the back in action. What do you think about the new Toyota hypercar? Let me know in the comments below.